Hi, I'm Jim Kosky, uh, physical therapist here at Orthopedic and Spine Center. And today what I'd like to talk to you about is uh, Achilles tendonitis. Um, so what we have is a lot of runners will develop uh, Achilles tendonitis. Also people who have uh, poor ankle mobility uh, can also develop uh, ankle or Achilles tendonitis. So what is Achilles tendonitis? What we have here is Achilles, uh, your gastroc, your um, back of your leg, your calf. So we have two muscles in the back. We have a gastroc, which has two heads, one, two, and then we have a soleus, which is underneath. So if we take the, uh, the, the calf off, there's another muscle underneath called the soleus. So this is the gastroc, the one that you see on people when they're walking around, and the one deeper is the soleus. They both come in and form what's called the Achilles tendonite tendon right along this area. So that's your Achilles tendon. This then will uh, go down to your uh, ankle, your foot bone, and then wrap underneath it, okay? And it'll come down through here and attach to what's called your plantar fascia, which can also lead into what's pla called plantar fasciitis. But today we're gonna talk about how to assess um, your ankle mobility uh, for your risk at having Achilles tendonitis and then also we're going to do a couple things if you do have Achilles tendonitis on how to um, help you know uh, alleviate the pain okay so what we have here is we have a patient of ours uh, who's uh, has a little bit of ankle pain and we're gonna come over here so here's his gastroc his calf comes down into his Achilles tendon this little band right here you can wiggle it has a pretty uh, strong uh, tendon in our body sometimes you'll see people it'll be swollen in this area from overuse and that's uh, very tender so if you squeeze it it would be extremely tender so um, one way to assess uh, you know, your pain level is to come in here and you're, you're, you're going to squeeze as you come down and then you'll feel that tendon tenderness right around in this area. Your uh, heel, the back part of your heel could also be tender as well. So one way I uh, see how limited they are, the per patient is, is I'll have them flex their foot and usually they'll feel pain at the end range and they'll feel pain because the tendon is getting stretched. For this particular uh, person, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also assess his ankle range of motion. Uh, one way we do that, a quick one, is over here at the um, wall. Good. Okay, so one way that um, I like to assess ankle mobility is I have the patient start with their foot up against the wall, keeping their foot flat on the floor. He's going to move his knee towards the wall. Okay, most people can do that. Uh, those people that are severely limited in their ankle mobility won't be able to touch the wall without their heel coming up. So he can do that. So I'm gonna have him scoot his foot back a couple inches, okay? He's gonna go back and he's gonna try and touch his heel to the wall, or his knee to the wall again. Okay, so he's limited right here because if he goes any further, his heel's gonna come up. His heel comes up so that in any case that he has a really tight uh, um, ankle uh, joint and or his gastroc or soleus is tight as well. So that tells me that he has a limited ankle range of motion. So that's one of the things that we're gonna work on. Okay, so for us to, to start a couple exercises for him, one would be actually doing this as an exercise. So he's gonna move his foot a little closer till he's successful at touching his knee to the wall. And he's gonna go forward and back. He can go forward and back 15, 20 times. He can do that a couple times a day. Once he's able to do that repetitively, then he's gonna move his foot back just a half of an inch until it feels a nice stretch and he's able to keep his heel down on the floor, okay? Now what I'd like to do is I'll have him do a gastroc stretch. So he's gonna put his uh, leg back, his right leg back as far as he can, left legs forward, okay? And then he's gonna lean into the wall. Notice how his heel and his foot is kind of lined up as, at an angle. I don't, it's not ideal. So what I'd like to do is have his foot straight in line. Now he's gonna feel a really good stretch throughout the whole gastroc and the soleus and the calf and the Achilles tendon. So I want him to stay in this position for you know two or three minutes at a time. Low load, long duration stretches are really good for stuff like this. However, you may have to take your time to um, you know, work up to that. So you could start off with 30 seconds at a time, but try and accumulate two or three minutes worth of stretching.
Um, so what I'm going to use here is a, this is called a foam roller and what we use this is to kind of massage the area that we want to stre uh, stretch out. So I'll have uh, Fred go ahead and put his uh, calf on here. Now there's a couple of ways to add uh, to, to foam roll this. So what he's going to do is he has his other knee supported. He's going to lift his bottom up and he's going to roll back and forth. Okay. Now he can do this for a couple of minutes. He's going to get on the inside and the outside of the calf. Make sure you get all throughout the whole calf. Another way to help uh, like massage it, he can hold it here and he can move his foot up and down as well. So, so just keep it straight or just don't move and just move the foot. Okay. So that's another way to help massage the area. He can turn it like this and like so. So if, because sometimes this is uncomfortable. So you can start off by just putting your foot up on there or your leg up on there and moving the ankle back and forth. If you're able to tolerate that and you want a little more aggressive kind of foam rolling, you can cross the other leg on top, lift your bottom up and now roll back and forth. That gives a lot of good uh, weight through the through the leg. And like I said, I like to do this for a couple of minutes, two minutes at a time. And a good time to do this is after you've exercised or after a hot shower when things are nice and warm. Okay, now what I'm going to do is a quick little uh, taping of the Achilles tendon. So what he's going to do is going to lay on his stomach. And I'm going to use this tape. Uh, it's called uh, Kinesio tape or rock tape or a couple of brands. Uh, that are out there and so this is just a quick way to help uh, kind of alleviate the stress in this area uh, you know we can teach you how to do this um, it's very simple uh, there are places around that sell this tape uh, locally uh, but you know you should get um, uh, educated on how to do it uh, properly uh, before applying it or you're just you might be just wasting your money all right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have him flex his foot okay I already pre-cut these, so I take a little piece off the edge, I come in, affix it to the bottom of his heel. Now he's already in a stretch position, so I don't want to overstretch this tape. So I come up and I'll, I'll stretch it like maybe 15 to 20 percent, and then I'll come right up his Achilles into his calf, lower calf. And now I'll rub it on and that kind of like warms it up so it sticks better. Now that's a simple little taping technique. Now he can you know, move up and down. And when he does that, notice how the, the, um, the tape will stretch. And what we're doing here is we're causing the tape to move and uh, move the skin underneath and keep it from binding down and increasing blood flow into the area. What I like to do is I add a second strip and I'll find out where his most tender area is. So say it's up here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tape here. I cut it in the middle and I'm going to stretch it out as much as I can. And then I'm going to put it over the area that that's the most tender. And then I tape it down. And what that does, it kind of puckers it up. It'll pull it'll pull the skin away from the Achilles tendon so it kind of like decreases the pressure on the area. Now when you're doing the tape, all right, it's all right to have a little stretching in between uh, the ends, but you don't want to have any stretch on the ends because that'll cause irritation in the skin. Same thing over here. I stretch the middle, I lay down the end without any stretch. But once again, it's best to come in once or twice just for us to show you how to uh, properly, um, you know, uh, apply the tape. And now he can go ahead. Uh, this tape is, uh, you know, waterproof somewhat, so you can, he can take a shower. He leaves it on for three or four days. Um, if it gets irritated, if the skin is irritated, you can just pull it off. Uh, so that's just a quick little way to take the Achilles tendonitis.